Okay. The last of the bodywork is here now. There is still some covers and some pieces of trim, but we'll get that done later. Uh, front bumper's done. Now, I did forget about these. Uh, it's little pieces of trim that just snap underneath the headlight. Uh oh. Oh god, physics is happening. Whoa, this is weird. Okay, so we need to tighten that. Tighten this one. Yeah, and then it gravities go. And uh, the next thing will be to spray the hood. Quite satisfying color to work with. There we go. Get it all in. Then spray this wing. Now, I did lay everything neatly out on the floor, but it's already gone in a mess. That's all right. It doesn't need to look good. Okay, I think I've covered this hood Missed a little bit there, but we'll go over that at the end. Then we have the sill, which we did a lot of grinder on, so we'll just make sure we get that. See, I'm not convinced on that. We'll see. We'll clean that. Lop this one upside down and do the same thing. Then we've got this rear panel to do. I think I just ran out of paint. I did. That's all right. From here, color. We'll buy two more. I've still got a roof to do as well. We'll quickly do this quarter panel. Very easy. Lots of angles and stuff to do. The easiest thing to do, I find, is just have it like this. Go wild spray in it and then flop it upside down. And check what you missed, but I seem to have gotten it all. Then I've got the rear bumper. After that, we are good to go. Finish spraying that. Good. Now, reassembly. We will start with these rear panels. Let's just get the welded here so it doesn't disappear out of my hand. This goes... Now, what is this? Rear left. So it snaps there. And we just give it a splash of weld. Get us nice and tight on. Good. Get the other rear panel. Snap it there. Somewhere. Yep. And I'll just take this rear panel while I'm working on it. And snap that on. Weld, weld, weld. I am using an infinite weld. And infinite grinder mod just because it's one of the more tedious parts of the game that uh, I like to not have to mess around with. Okay, next we'll do now. See, <clears throat> the mistake that I've made was putting the trim on that pillar. Okay, we can work with it. Put the rocker panels on next. Try and get the most structural parts back on. Let's just weld, weld, many, many welds. Yeah, I think I got all that. Same again on this side. Splash some welds on, then I can put this on. And then I'll need to push my head inside to get those bottom two. Uh, well, I'll try and push my head inside the pillar. There we go. And same on the other side. Take this. Flip it on. What have I done? Out of this. Again, just throw my head inside it. Okay. Next, we will do the rear panels. Snaps like that. These have a lot of random welds to do. 
good. And the other side. Perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Should I get all of that in? Then, you know, there's bound to be welds I've missed, but we just go over that at a later date. Okay, um, next we'll do this. This doesn't block anything. There is just body panels flying all over the place now. These just go on with three bolts. One, two, three. Good. Uh, there is some more parts we can weld, like this front brace, which connects the two pieces of frame. Uh, let's just take the welder for a walk so the gun respawns. And give that a splash there. One, and two. Then our front panel with our lights can go on. Uh, now, where the welds are for this, yeah, I again did things in the wrong order. I should have put the wing on last. No matter. Um, and we'll get the, ooh, I see I missed a huge chunk of paint on that. That's all right. Uh, paint. come to realize that I do that I think I did let's just have a quick look uh yes it's it's, it's there is it yeah yeah okay sorry um doors next one let's see if I can be clever here I'm going to attach all of them except the driver door And I enter driver store, then I can just tighten the bolts like that. I want to say I'm a genius, but it doesn't really work. Okay, open please. Uh, okay, that door is just broken. Tighten these up. I'll need to do a but well, I got some bolts so there we go perfect and then the last door like that and I'll just headbutt there is no good way to do the doors but if there is I haven't discovered it yet okay next we need to do the trim so we just oh no 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 actually i know what we'll do next okay so the gas tank for the wagon is a very specific gas tank 80 wagon i had trouble finding that i had to remove the car and the engine filter to get it and then i just searched the gas tank either way it's uh, very simple it just snaps on the bottom there with two bolts Okay, next thing I am going to do is the roof. Okay, so roof assembly, quite easy. We put the headliner in, then we need to hold it in with a mirror, which I've got over here. The headliner generally attaches to the car by the mirror, easy. Then we've got two sun visors. Hopefully this goes on. Yep. I I struggle with getting these things on sometimes. Okay, and then it's just one screw either side. Like uh like that. Okay, now there's something new about this wagon roof and I'm not too sure how it works. If you look at this one here, see it's got this light green part. So, 
I think I've bought everything I need for it. We'll see though. Spray this up. This nasty colour. Is a really strange colour. I kind of like it at the same time. Should I get everything? Good. Now, this I think just attaches like that. Oh, whoa. What was that? So, this piece of trim has a screw. But let's just take it off for now. And we'll get it in the car and then we can see it. So, we attach it like that. Respawn the welder gun. And we do. One weld there, one at the top here somewhere, one there, one there, let's just get it all in and then we'll worry about the details later. So this piece of trim goes on here and then it's got a tiny screw there. Now there is one for the other side, I've lost it. It fell off in the process of moving it. So, oh, there it is. Perfect. So we get that attached on, open the door, tighten the screw. Perfect. Now we need to get the trunk on. Easy enough. That's just four bolts. Uh, use my head to support it. One, two, three, four. And the rear bumper. Oh, oh, have I picked up the wrong rear bumper? The joys of the wolf. These parts are not clearly defined. Okay. Bump bumper, does that work? Yes. That's just... Not sure where the bumper bolts are either, to be perfectly honest with you. One. Two. Good. We'll leave for dead last, but I will put the grill on now, so it's out of my way. That's a screwdriver, of course it is. Quite frustrating to work on. Okay, uh, windshield. Smash that in. Okay, need two rear windows. Yes, two rear windows. I've got... These, I don't know if they're good enough. One. Two. Okay. Uh, I need to figure out this rear bumper situation. So let me just have a quick look at that. Okay, so turns out the bumpers are different. I don't see the difference, but this is a wagon, this is not. So we just attach this, and I guess it's the same, I just smash my head through the bodywork until I find bolts that I can tighten. Aha! Oh no 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 no, there we go. One. Two. I know I've missed bits of paint, we'll, we will cover it later. Okay, so here is the interior. We'll just start with the seat that in. Uh, one, I think it's just two bolts, good. Should have uh, done this before the roof and everything, but actually I'm not going to do the seats yet. I'll do the dashboard first. I need a screwdriver. So let's go grab one of those. Now I do the glove box. If I remember right, it's quite temperamental to get on in the wolf. I need to find the damn bolts. One. And one on this side, good. Um, The cluster, that just snaps in, there's nothing to hold it in. And then we can do this when it's in the car, I think. Whoa! 
Anybody see my dashboard? There. Uh, if I can get it to sit like that, then I can do it like this. One, and one on this side too. The bolts are screws. Bolts. One, two, three, four. Now, I need a carpet. I have two wolf carpets, here we go. I put the carpet in. Then I put this in. That, come on, I see you. Okay. Bolt that in. Then the carpet. I can, what is going on here? Right, carpet. Then the carpet is bolted down by the center console. Magic. Then we need to do the pedals. They go in like this. Now what we want to make sure we do is get everything mounted. We want to make sure everything is mounted to the bulkhead before we put the dashboard on. Otherwise, it's just difficult. So, brake cylinder. Steering column. Oh, that's three bolts there. Then we do the dashboard. Oh, wait, wipers. Ah. Glad I spotted that. So, accessories. Wiper motor. Uh, we'll revisit this later then. So, we attach this. Sometimes it's got bolts on the inside. I never keep track of it with cars because I usually never bother putting wipers in. They don't do anything. Okay, uh, with that being done, I can put the dashboard in, which is going to be screws. One, two, three, four. Okay. Finally, we can get all this junk out of the way and put it in. Seat. And seat. Four bolts each side. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. And four. Finally, we put the wheel in. That just leaves the rest of the body what to do. We can put all this trim in. One, two, three. And I think all this has bolts the Titan. So one, two, does this have a bolt too? No, it's snapped in. Okay, uh, bodywork wise, I'm pretty happy with that. I think there might be more missing from here. Uh, we still have to do the covers, like you can see this door is a cover. We'll get all that done, but next I am going to do the engine. Uh, I can reuse this block, so I'm just going to really quickly strip off the oil pan, see what state the crank is in. But I, I'll just strip the whole engine down and I'll uh, catch you when it's ready to be put back on. Okay. So, here is a wolf engine in a thousand pieces. What I'm going to do is rebuild cylinder head. Or, you know, try to. Oof. That's annoying. One, 
Okay, so I need to do it silver end down. Two. These are the injectors, they go in first. This is a lot easier to do and you can watch it. Once the injectors are in, we do the glow plugs, which I'm guessing is silver side down. Uh, maybe, you know what, let's tighten down the injectors first. And we'll do the glow plugs. Sorry, I will try to do the glow plugs. And that's right, they go in these little holes down here. Two. Three. Four. Wow, that's frustrating. Six. Two. Five. This, I think, yeah, this, that goes on the block. So now that the annoying part is over, let's do, first we put the pistons on the crankshaft. One, two, these other pistons are good, relatively. Don't know what condition they're actually in, but they look good. So not my problem. Once that's done, the oil pan can go on. Four, five, one, two, three, five. Then we can do the flywheel on this end of the engine. And there should be a clutch pressure plate here. Yep. And a clutch pressure plate. Three, four, five, six. Then we do this crank time and chain pulley thing. Then we do the head gasket. Come on, go on. Sometimes this can go on wrong and then game needs to be reloaded. Not today it seems. Tighten the head down. And put the camshaft on. 87 bazillion bolts for that. Okay. Nine. And one. Twelve. Then we do uh, the camshaft sprocket. That. Then we do the time and chain. Then we do the time and cover. Admittedly, in a normal diesel engine, you would need to do the fuel pump before the belt, but the game doesn't care enough. Um. Bank pulley, that's easy. Alternator bracket goes here. Two bolts. And the alternator. I think it's just two bolts. Uh, water pump goes here. And I'm not too sure on how many bolts it is. Let's just spam click. There we go, we got something. Then we do the power steering pump, which goes up here somewhere. That's got a whole bunch of bolts. One, two, I think it's four, three, four. And the fuel filter. Then I think we can put that belt on. Ah, the tensioner. That one's easy. I think it's just one bolt, okay. I won't argue with that. And this goes on here. One, two, the oil filter in, and the lid. Two bolts there. Fan on the water pump. Now, before I go and put wires on, snap the glow plug into place. 
Never too sure where this goes. I think it goes behind the fuel pump. Ah, there's the tick. Be two bolts to hold that in. I'd like you to be standing upright. This part. Okay, you know what? That'll do. Then we put the cover on. We get two on this side, three on that side. Then we do manifolds. Intake goes on. Oh, I threw my spanner away. Then the da, 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 exhaust goes on this side. Then the cool spinny thing. Bolt. Air filter for that. One bolt on the top. And that is an assembled engine. Starter is just two bolts and there is pipe work, which I thought I bought, I did. I'll snap that on. And I think it tightens on the fuel pump. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be an assembled engine. Let's throw it in the car. Tighten it down. A little bit of a freeze while that happens. And then the gearbox. One bolt down here. Which I can't reach. Okay. That is the engine. Now we need... Uh, up here is the fuel line, battery, and wires. Let's do wires first. Wires have four bolts, I think. So one here, one on the alternator. One physically to the engine. And starter. And two more here, I think. One and two fuel line oh yeah magic and finally the exhaust there is a whole exhaust system to go on but uh problem for the lay on where are you snap one Okay, radiator, easy enough, one, two, brake lines, goes here, and then brake lines have five bolts, one there, then one on each wheel, assuming you've put the brake pipes on. Last one, there. Okay, engine bay is complete, so we can put the hood on. Two, three, four. Magnificent. Now there is a lot of stuff missing still. We can get to that. We'll do the lower hose first. This side, I think. I see there's still some water left in that. That's nice. Two. Okay. The next thing to do is going to be run over the bodywork one more time with our paint. Because I've missed a lot of pieces. Just go wild spray in here. Uh, whatever. That'll do, you know. Now I need to buy the cover, and we paint that. Okay, so I bought a bunch of these covers. I have no idea which ones I need and which ones I don't. It's very poorly catalogued in the, uh, 
very poorly catalogued, the wagon. That would be my criticism of the game. Love this game, catalog could do us some love. So uh, there we go. I hope that I've got all this. Guessing the spray paint didn't go on the bottom there. Nope. Okay, so cover bumper rear wagon. This should just snap on. Of course it doesn't. We need to turn it around. Uh, okay, we'll come back to that. Cover rear. That go on there. Good. Cover left. Already got a cover, I think. Cover bumper front. And rear left, which I've already got. Rear right. Snap. Front right. Snap. Front right. Perfect. Front left. Trunk. I think it's already got. Oh no, it doesn't. This can snap. There we go. Uh, rear right. And go. Front left. And rear left. Perfect. Give it a once over with a spray can. I know I missed some parts there. Now this rear bumper situation we'll need to fix. Oh, I ran out of paint. Yeah. Right, that is almost a complete build. Okay, I have now brought this car to a point where it's almost complete. I can't find this last piece of color. I've added a wiper blade. Um, I had to take the cover off the side skirt to get some rust off. Uh, there's a couple of components we still haven't bought. And I haven't even had this thing up on a lift yet. But I know the prop shaft is bad. So it's just an easy case of taking that out. Now we need to buy... Let's see now. We need to buy a prop shaft. Which is that. And, ooh, while I'm at it actually, I can buy exhaust. Those two things should be the last that we need. And license plates. But I'm not going to bother with those. If you want license plates, you just go to the shop that sells the tires and you can buy them there. I've done the oil, I've done the coolant, it takes two oils and two coolant bottles. I've done the brakes, it takes one brake coolant bottle. And that's it, completely restored wolf. Uh, perhaps I'm missing a piece of trim in the back, but I don't think it's too critical. Let's get it pushed out here. Oh no, the handbrake's not on. Ah, there we go. And let's take it for a test drive. I haven't tried to start this yet, so... Ooh, mouse steering. How do I turn that off again? F1. Okay, so... It starts 
the handbrake is off. So let's get it down to garage. Oh yeah, she flies. Wow. It's almost better than my wagon, but my wagon's cooler. And it's covered in dents, and it just looks like it's well used. But yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with this. That is a completely restored wolf wagon with a tuned diesel pump and jack thrust to boot. So, do our usual take up your screenshots. One. To make sure we get that under the hood shot of the all the good stuff and yeah that's it get a picture of this screen I think the one to open is going to be four I think four is empty yep perfect so we just jump in Lord it. There we go. One complete wolf wagon. But yeah, that is our lot for today. We did a wolf wagon, we made a mess, I bought a bunch of wolf components I don't need, and I have no money again. However, I have a bunch of spare parts, enough that I can uh, consider building another wagon, to be honest. It was quite fun, uh, not happy with the catalogue and losing myself and all the parts, but whatever. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.